in the dry, hot, unrelenting habitat. Nothing is as it seems. The little run of Kutch is an endless desert. It covers a staggering 5,180 square kilometers, but is also a home to certain endemic species. The habitat varies from saline desert plains to rocky and thorn shrublands and arid grasslands. It is a vast, desiccated, unbroken, bare-surfaced landscape made up of silt and salt. But even in such extreme conditions, several species thrive here. Due to its strategic location on the migration route for Central Asian Flyway, this sanctuary provides an important feeding, breeding and roosting habitat for a large number of birds. But they are not the only ones who have adapted to this unique ecosystem. This is the desert fox. Also known as the white-footed fox, this species is one of the most widely distributed miso carnivore in the world. In the habitat where nothing grows, you see the vast salt plains. You don't see a single vegetation going there. These species thrive in these habitats. I'm part of ATRI's uh, PhD program, uh, which is focusing on how different uh, carnivore species in the landscape are adapting with these uh, changes in the landscape. Desert fox is among those species I'm focusing on. The desert fox is found in the arid and semi-arid region of western Rajasthan, the Kutch region of Gujarat, and in isolated pockets of Punjab and Haryana. Although red foxes are among the most well-studied carnivores globally, there has been a lack of understanding about the ecology of this particular Indian subspecies. Indian foxes, which are widely distributed across India, are also found in the desert fox habitat. It can be confusing to differentiate the two from a distance, but a clear indication is their tail colors. While the Indian fox has a black tail tip, the desert fox has a white tip. This medium-sized Asiatic subspecies of the red fox is a mesocarnivore, an animal whose diet can consist of up to 70% meat as well as other food like fruits and insects. As studies have shown in the absence of a larger carnivore, Miso carnivore play the role of top carnivore. So studying uh, carnivore species in arid landscape is important. And in order to maintain this ecosystem, we need to understand the biodiversity surviving here, basically maintaining and adapting to the changing climate in this landscape. The desert fox is a relatively tall and lean carnivore, which can be identified with a white tail tip. They have perfectly adapted to harsh climatic conditions but occupy less than 50% of their potential habitats in India. These foxes deal with extreme temperatures and are the ultimate survivors in arid conditions. If it's too hot, they alter their behavior to become more active at night. And while in the winter, they forage throughout the day. That's the only way to survive here. Biologically, they are designed with long ears and these years help them regulate their body heat and maintain their temperature. Their large ears are also designed to listen to the slightest of sounds which helps them catch their prey. They are swift and agile and that helps them to escape from predators. So any species surviving the desert landscape has to be opportunist. They have to take advantage of each opportunity they are being provided by the uh, varying climate in the habitat. 
Desert foxes are very specific when it comes to choosing their habitat to make their dens. In the Kutch landscape, they prefer areas which are far away from human settlements, well covered and with a bit of vegetation. First of all, any species living in a desert, making den is an important part of their survival strategy because there is so much predation pressure if you are a smaller species. They have ingenious and unique ways of constructing their dens. These dens have multiple openings. If a fox mother has a litter, she will make multiple entries and exits within the proximity of her main den. This is a strategy to avoid predators. Along with that predation, you have to cope up with the harsh climate of this area. Therefore, species are very picky when selecting a den site. In the Kutch, they mainly survive in the salt plains. There are scattered sand islands in the Kutch called baits. These baits are the perfect habitat for the desert fox. So based on some natural history notes and observation during field, uh, we know that uh, foxes are mainly solitary. The female is responsible for raising their pups, while males do visit frequently. But how much they are involved in parenting, uh, we don't know much about that. It is important to understand how different species are thriving in the deserts and grassland because deserts and grassland have been considered as a wasteland and haven't recognized as a fully functional ecosystem. Grasslands and desert landscapes are among the most altered terrestrial ecosystems facing threats from rapid urbanization, fragmentation and introduction of invasive plant species. The rapid encroachment of a woody invasive plant species called Prosopis juliflora in the past few decades has altered large parts of this open landscape into dense woodlands. If such landscapes are not recognized as biodiversity rich areas, it would mean that grasslands in arid landscapes can be widely allocated for developmental activities without accounting for their ecology. A study conducted by Chetan finds that, at the landscape level, the desert fox selects open Sweda saline habitats over dense woodlands. An indication that this habitat specialist species could potentially face many threats. We need to answer a lot of questions about the species in order to make a proper conservation plan for the species. We also don't know how uh, desert fox interact with the other species. What are the status of integral predation or integral competition? We don't know much about that. One of the major reasons why these species are hardly studied in these habitats is because the desert is not considered as an ecosystem. There is hardly any research conducted on desert dwelling species. They have been here for a very long time and we have to make their survival possible in future as well. Historically, Wildlife conservation in India has focused largely on mega mammals while the smaller and lesser known species such as these foxes have been completely ignored. There has been a disproportionate amount of attention given to forests that occupy only 24% of the country's land area. Wild canids could potentially act as flagship species for conserving grasslands, scrublands and open barren landscapes. The desert fox is so well adapted to the harsh conditions that the greening of desert habitats in the name of habitat improvement will have an adverse effect on its ecology. Conservation of such species and the habitats they live in require different approaches that can allow unbiased land sharing between people and carnivores. Only focused research can help in understanding these fascinating species that call this their home and that can throw a lot many surprises.